Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legends Out of Breath of the Wild. We have completed every single Divine Beast, all four of them. Hey brother, thanks so much for appealing, uh, appeasing Rudania Goro. I don't exactly know what you were doing in Rudania, but, well, it seems to have calmed down, Goro. You know, while I was up there, I could have sworn I saw Lord Daruk standing on top of Rudania. I wonder. Was that his ghost? I don't know how to explain it, but somehow I feel a lot braver now, Goro. Huh? Oh, that's right. I talked to Boss about you, and he said to uh, bring you to him. An order from Boss can't be refused. Move it, Goro. Okay then. So yeah, we can probably go to Hyrule Castle whenever now. As long as I'm, we're feeling prepared. Oh, grab that. Which I'm not sure if I am or not. Hmm? Hey, it's you. You know, but told me everything. You really are something else, brother. You know that? I can't believe you conquered Rudania. Color me impressed. But good grief. Did you have to do it just when my back pain went away? I was all ready to and raring to go at Rudania myself. Now you've gone and made it look like I was just fibbing about my back pain this whole time. Imagine that! Me! Yes. Imagine that. Oh, and I'm also happy to see Yonobo finally got his act together. I know that's, uh, you're doing it as well. But enough about, uh, enough back patting and other such nonsense. Take a look at this. The Divine Beast Farudania has calmed down and returned to its his peaceful ways. Now we can well, now we can get back to digging for ore around Death Mountain. Oh right. I've still got a thank you, brother. There's some treasure in my house. Grab it. Keep it. It's yours. It's a sharp blade that Daruk himself once wielded. I'm sure you'll be able to make good use of it. However, well, as a Hylian, you probably already know this, but apparently a hundred years ago, the Hylian champion had a legendary blade. The sword that seals the darkness. That said, you've got a rather fine blade already, don't you? Come to think of it, you look just like the Hylian champion who fought the Calamity alongside Daruk. It's fine. Wait, am I actually... Is that actually the correct... It is equipped to the... I didn't realize it was actually still equipped. I was worried that it wouldn't actually do that. Anyway, let's get an extra stamina vessel. Because... Two is not enough. We need to get a third ring of stamina. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. So yeah, there's some treasure in this house for us to go get. Which is on this throne here. But interestingly about this throne, is if we hop around it, please. Uh, let me go around this way. Okay, we can get back here, and if we go back here enough... Hang on. I, I did this once and I posted the, a video about it to Twitter. But yeah, we can actually get here, and if I'm clever enough... We can actually probably get into a better spot than this. I don't remember where exactly the spot is, but I think I need to actually keep going around a little bit more. Possibly. Oh, it's right there. Quick. Okay, but I need to actually get into a better angle for this camera to work. So let's just look down a little bit and see if I can go down. Not too that. Not too down. Not too down. Maybe I can cling to the wall. I don't remember how I did this the first time. Also, this is going to kill me if I'm not careful. Oh my goodness, okay. I really don't remember how I got to it. I wonder if this is actually what I need. Oh my goodness, I was standing in the lava. Which I guess isn't that bad, but... It looked weird. Oh my goodness. 
it's just an endless loop of death now. Oh no, I need to get out of here. There's a little, um, untextured, untextured thing back here somewhere, but I can't seem to see it. I think it's just the back here. But you, I, I remember being able to see the sky whenever I did it the other time, so you can actually see through the ground into the space. Let's do something a little bit more reasonable, I think. We still have some cooked meals over here to eat, so let's do that, and then a bit of that, and that. Yeah, I can't remember. Hang on. Is this it? I really... Ah, You can see that it's a lot of texturing issues back there. But it's difficult to actually get back there, so that's probably why it's a little bit less noticeable. Please get over that. Oh no! This place is just... It's probably not worth looking at, considering how much I've fallen in the lava at this point, but... I just think it's interesting that there's untextured stuff back there, if you can get into the right position. Which could be by going around that way instead of the other way. Anyway, let's have a look at this reward, since we're here. The Boulder Breaker. This two-handed weapon was once wielded by the great the Goron champion Daruk. Daruk made swinging it around look easy, but a Hylian would need an immense amount of strength. Inventory's full. Oh my goodness. Calm down, game. Calm down. I have multiple sledgehammers. Goodbye, sledgehammer. That was a good sound. Oh my goodness. Take this boulder breaker. And let's actually drop that on the ground so I can take a picture of it. If it breaks, you can get a new one by materials somewhere. I'm guessing, since you can do that with other stuff as well. Anyway, that should be everything here for now. So... Oh, where do I... Where, where do I... Actually, I want us to take a round, I think, somewhat. Let's head up to this shrine up here, though. So there's a few things we can do around the place, and one of the things that we can do around the place is actually something I want to do before finishing the game. So, let's probably look around a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go this way. Why not? I'm going to switch my weapon so I don't waste stuff that I could use. Just going to use something average. Oh wow, you dodged quite well. But it wasn't good enough. Is this a weapon I've seen before? Yes, it is. Cool, good. Oh, and there's that over there as well. There's so many things in my boy. I'm over here! That's going to get both of them. Absolutely incredible. Very nice. There's also this here that I want to get, which means I guess I'll get my sledgehammer back out. Oh, wonderful. That's a good, that's a good set of stuff to get from that. Now, I don't know where I'm supposed to go exactly, and I'm hoping that I'm going to just end up where I need to be by chance. Just be very lucky. Just max out my luck stat. So, let's climb this. Please. Just gonna go all the way up here. This isn't actually where I'm meant to go, I'm just getting up here for a better look around. Okay. I think... I need to be over this way. I don't know if I can glide all the way. I hope I can, because that'd be great. Otherwise, there's probably other paths I can actually take to get up here. What is that over there? I don't know. Probably actual path and not just going wherever I want. So over here, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, which I'm... I feel like I am mistaken. If I'm honest, I feel very mistaken. Among this outer path should be something for us. Oh, 
Really? Oh my goodness. Just take you out. Because I don't want to deal with you for longer than five seconds. Also, I think... I don't know if I can see it from here. No. Even if I could, I couldn't really take a... a pin for it. I couldn't pin it down. Now, is it over here what I'm thinking about? Although I think it's further than the other direction, actually. What is happening with the sky? Okay. Let's go to view. Maybe it is further this way. Maybe it's even up there. I don't know. I'm mostly exploring at this point, which is not good because it's very off the rails. It's just all over the place. Without much reason. Let's get some of this because that's going to be good for rupees if I need it, which I probably will. I can tell I've made a mistake. Maybe? Actually, I think this is actually where I'm meant to be going. Which is very lucky. Also, there's a shrine over there. Which we walked past on our way up the mountain. And I think this is another path that we could have taken up the mountain from the... Oh, the... Uh, the Woodland Tower. So let's climb up this. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Oh my goodness, enemies. Oh my goodness, enemies. Really? And if, if I don't take them all out, then they're just going to respawn, make the, the other ones rebuild. Oh my goodness. Anyway, once we get up here on our map, I believe, hopefully. Also, the Rick's protection is very good. It activates whenever you're target some targeting something. And is a perfect, a perfect reflection with Guardian uh, lasers, Guardian beams. Anyway, if we go up here, though, I really hope this is where I'm meant to be and I'm not just crazy. Oh, there's Korok. There's Korok here. But there's also... a memory. doesn't look too bad actually you're fine for now but you know there's a fine line between courage and recklessness as brave as you are that does not make you immortal it seems that not only is the frequency of these types of attacks on the rise but the scale of beasts we are facing is intensifying as well I fear that I fear that this is an omen which portends the return of Calamity Ganon. And, if that's the case, I'm ready to expect the worst. We'll need to make preparations as soon as possible. There we go. Things are getting intense in our memories. Now I'm gonna get this cork if I can. Need that one there and this one over here. Oh, and a lizard. Thank you. Let's take this lizard. This, no, this rock over to here. Close enough. <laughs> Amazing. And there we go. That was what I wanted to do with this memory. And now... How are we doing for memories? Uh, album... We're doing pretty good. There's only a few left. 
And I think this is actually my excuse to head to somewhere we haven't been before. So let's go to the Great Plateau Tower. This isn't actually anywhere near where we actually need to be. But I can probably get there somewhat quickly. It's not going to take too long, probably, hopefully. I really hope not. There's still a lot of shrines left to do in the game before we actually finish up. And we've still got two more towers we haven't done yet. So I don't know how much more I'm going to do before finishing up. I want to explore the world a little bit more. But I also want to get to the end of the game, like, I don't know, fairly early on. I don't, I feel like I'm very confident, which is really strange. But I don't think the end of the game is as difficult as you'd think. Well, so we can change our equipment now, so let's just wear better armor. Because that's going to work out a lot better than wearing flame breaker armor in the middle of a rain thing. So, if we go in this direction, I believe, I don't think this up here is what we need. Oh, the rain. Oh, the rain. Just gonna build up a bit more stamina. Oh, I don't even think this is actually what I'm gonna take me to the top. To the top. Also, there's just this path over here that I could have taken. Yeah, this isn't where I'm supposed to be going, but this might be a Korok at the very least. I'm not going to get all the Koroks before the end of the game. Because we don't even have like an eighth. Okay, let's see. What is up here? There's a lot of things, and it looks like it is a Korok. Uh, it looks like it's there. Let's mark that off. Okay. Drop that, and let's just go down here. This looks like where we we're supposed to be. Right next to this huge area in front of us. So. Let's take a look. There's also, I believe... Oh, this is not... This isn't a Korok, okay. Well, that's okay, because this is a memory. This will let up anytime soon. Your path seems to mirror your father's. You've dedicated yourself to becoming a knight as well. Your commitment to the training necessary to fulfill your goal is really quite admirable. I see now why you would be the chosen one. What if... one day... you realized... But you just weren't meant to be a fighter. Yet the only thing people ever said was that you were born into a family of the royal guard, and so no matter what you thought, you had to become a knight. If that was the only thing you were ever told. I wonder then, would you have chosen a different path? That sounds rough. A lot of emotion was put into that. Oh, there's just pebblets here, apparently. Now I'm gonna just check up here because I feel like... No? Okay then. Well, so this is an interesting spot over here that we can just look at. A lot of ruins. 
But now that we've got this done, is there anything in here? Oh, of course there's a cork in here. Of course. Um, is this... I might be marking on the wrong thing right now, and I hope not. Hang on. Oh my goodness. What's the button? That one. I think I am marking to the correct thing. If I'm not, uh, I'll, I'll hopefully get things right later on. Okay, well now that that's done, I want to head towards this direction where we haven't gone before. We can also see another another dragon flying around. It's a different one from the one we saw last time though. Probably want to take a picture of that as well. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Can I take a picture of it from here? I can, because it's just that big. Farouche, or far Farosh. Farosh? Farosh. 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 It's, it's fish. It's a fish. So yeah, let's head this way. Oh, it's so big though, and very far away. But anyway, we have a bridge over here that we can cross. We also have, I believe, am I wrong? I could be wrong. We have the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 side quest we can do. And conveniently, we're actually close to one of the rewards for it, so let's actually have a look at that. The southern sky from the middle of the largest bridge. That's one of the three. The other two are the eastern sky from the skull's left eye. The southern sky, the south, southeastern sky from the peak of the tall pierced snowy mountain. Those are three separate locations. And this is the biggest bridge. Also, I believe there's uh, a few corks on this bridge that we can actually have a look at getting, maybe. If I actually had more stamina to climb things. Stop running. We need to save stamina. <laughs> there it goes! I'm, I'm glad you can just launch rupees like that. That's great. Anyway, let's climb up this. And I might actually change... Get my climbing banner down or out. I know there are more climbing gear, but I don't know where they are, and it's upsetting me because I really want to find them so I can climb things faster. There's Farosh again. Just doing its own thing. Now up here, I believe, if I'm not wrong, is maybe... Oh, there's a thing here. And there's not, and there's one on the other side, but it's not lit. So let's light that. If I don't miss. And that's a Korok. There we go. Don't think there's anything else up here that we need to worry about. So let's head back down to the bridge. Slowly and carefully not to fall off. Um... Gonna check this rock. No. I'm just paranoid now because I want to find things. What I do know though, is that way down there, all the way down there, it's, oh my goodness, is a ring of rocks in the water. And from experience we've had to drop a rock in the middle of that. But how are we gonna do that from here? Well, I don't know how well I can do this. We need to, oh no, but back down. Drop that there. Stasis, and then... Oh my goodness. And then... Hope that this works. Oh, please. Please. Oh, I went too far, didn't I? Where'd it go? It's gone. It's just gone. Um, let me try this again. Oh my goodness, don't. This one's annoying. 
I would not want to get this one if I didn't have to. Uh, please drop that there. Okay. Get into a better position. Oh my goodness, this is not going to work. Okay, let's watch it where it goes. Oh, that was actually pretty good. Um, it went too far. And just throwing actually could work. So let's try that again. Maybe a little bit further back and a little bit more centered, maybe. Throw. Oh, so close. Let's keep this camera angle. Try to line up as best as possible. And get closer and then go! Please, 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 please. Oh my goodness, so close again. There's a lot of rocks around this place, so you're probably not going to run out of those. Luckily. Let's go from here, please. Please. Oh, no, no, I missed. Well, let's go get another rock then. And hope that this one's actually going to hit. Straight on target. A little bit over this side, I guess. Yeah, let's go from he here. And then a little bit forward. There, go. Please. 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 Now that's just disappointing. Um, rock. M more rock. More rock for core rock. Um, let's take this with me. And I, oh my goodness, it's just going to get harder to carry them over. As I'm trying to line up correctly. Okay. I need to be as close as possible. So here's probably good. Let's go. Perfect. Okay, another one to mark off. And now we've collected more Koroks than we've had episodes. Goodbye, Sledgehammer. Now, where is this thing I'm looking for? I saw somebody else get this, so I'm gonna get this one as well. So, somewhere... On the edge of the bridge. Somewhere. I think it's on this one. Okay. Something just happened, I don't know. Uh, oh my goodness, Link, don't fall off. Oh, it's a... It's a Yuga... Clan... Foot soldier. Um, also, I can't see this thing that I'm looking for. Hang on. Let's go down here. Get a better look around. Okay, it's probably this pillar over here then. If it's none of the others. There it is. Okay, so there's a little stick out here in the middle of nowhere. And because of the Korok detection boxes that just placed around the world, if there's no tree branch in this box, it spawns a Korok. That one's a little bit more subtle because you don't need a stick. But obviously, how did this stick get here otherwise? Let's get rid of that and let's climb back up because I actually need to be up there for more Koroks. It seems like the monsters up here still know I'm around. So, let's make quick work of them. If I can actually hit them. Ow. Goodbye. Just gonna push you off. Freeze! I mean, freeze! I mean, push! And, uh, a push! And, uh, a push! Oh, they're still alive. It's fine. I'm not killing <laughs> I'm not killing them. That would be rude. I'm just moving them. Also, there's another Karak up here. I believe there's also another one somewhat nearby as well. Other than those ones. Well, anyway. Oh, that's the wrong way. There's a treasure chest, which I can check. A silver scale spear that I don't really need. Um, let's get out some bombs. And let's blow some stuff up. 
There we go. Easy. Blow that up. I don't know if this is actually going to have anything of e extreme value in it, though. I'm pretty sure I got a picture of that already, yep. And let's blow that up. The rest of that, there we go. Nothing there, apparently. I'm pretty sure there is actually another cork around this part of the bridge, though. But I don't know where exactly. Anyway, let's just go get the other one that we can see from here. This one's probably going to be a bit more of a problem, though. Because it's off the side of the bridge, and it's a flower. And if we get, if we mess up, then the, if we, if we take too long, the flower's just going to reset, so. Let's get that, and then go to that one. Conserve stamina as much as possible. We can't jump down anyway, so. Let's go get that one. Might even let go. Just a little bit. Grab that one. Oh, it's way down there now. Oh my goodness. Oh, please grab, please grab, please grab, please grab. Grab. Oh my goodness. Can I at least redeem myself with Revali's Gale? Please. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Faster, 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 faster. Got it. Cool. Okay. It's another one down. Let's let go. And then glide. That's not how much I wanted to glide, but okay. There's another rock in the middle of this collapsed, um, pillar here. So I'm gonna guess this is also another Korok. There's a lot of Koroks in this bridge, if you didn't realize already. It's just a Korok fest. <laughs> We're at 81 Koroks now. We had, like, 71 when we started crossing this bridge. Anyway... We can get back up to the bridge by going around the side now, probably. I think I got most of them in one go. Oh, please get past it. Thank you. There's also a raft here, which is interesting. So, let's just go up here. If the rain would stop, that would be great. Which it is actually stopping, so that's really good. Let's just go up. All the way. Wow, that was a cool sound. I think there's actually more Koroks on this end of the bridge, though. On the... the... the gateway, I guess. So, I'll have to climb this for more Koroks, but for now... We've made it across this bridge, and we've got two more memories. And a whole bunch of Koroks. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.